What's up guys, uh, I wanted to make a video about this uh, yesterday, but I was doing uh, mystery packs, so didn't get a chance to today, and we just finished the mystery packs, congrats to uh, those of you guys that got some of the nice chasers, especially with the Michael Jordan auto, uh, um, and if you want to see the live break of them and the recap, it's going to be in my blog TV channel, so they will be there, uh, recorded them live, so you can see them uh, getting busted live, so uh, anyways, back to this one, uh, it was a... I think it ended last night, 2010 National Treasure Rookie Auto Patch, uh, number 15 out of 25. It was the gold version of DeMarcus Cousin, and DeMarcus Cousin is one of my main PC right now, and I already have, I think, three of uh, his uh, Rookie Auto Patch, like this one. I think I got this for like 400 bucks, and uh, this one's the gold, uh, the regular number at 99 version. So, this patch is actually better than th this one that I lost out on, but obviously... It's a little more special since it is number 15 out of 25, his jersey number. So I was actually willing to go maybe uh, up to 650. I think that was my uh, max. So I was thinking uh, the car was still maybe 300 $400 with uh, 10 minutes left. So I was like, oh, maybe I could grab it for like 650 Pretty good because uh, it's the gold version. So this is probably the second best car of his uh, aside from the 101 Logo Man Auto. Uh, but it went for a little more than 650, so couldn't get it. I uh, just kind of want to make a video telling you guys. Kind of ridiculous how much it went for. This is how much it went for. Over a thousand bucks. Wow. And I don't think it was shelved at all, since you can see uh, tons of people bid on it after my 650. Got this guy, we got uh, this guy, 998, and then 1,000. So wow. So. Guess I could wave goodbye to that car. So really nice uh, personal collection card that uh, I could have used. Uh, I mean the pass is not even crazy. It's just I think it's the number 15 out of 25. It made it, it make it sell for more than double. I think probably almost three times uh, the regular one. So too bad. Uh, and also I want to talk about uh, NBA getting locked out. Uh, seems like right now David Stern's had two weeks lockout. Um, just want to let you uh, want to hear what you guys have to say about that. Uh, do you think that um, their season will be lost forever, or not forever? Will be lost for the year. And if that does happen, um, I guess Panini will probably won't be making any more product. Do you think uh, it's a big hit to the hard collecting community? And if it's a good time to buy since everyone's trying to sell, or do you think it's a good time to sell since card value might go down even more, um, or you think it's just Good time to hold, I guess. Uh, but I think I have noticed some cards already going down in value. But at the same time, a lot of other cards are getting a rebound. Just for example, I think some Kevin Durant cards going up in price. Blake Griffin, I've been trying to grab my Blake Griffin share, but they're actually still super high and they're actually making a kind of rebound up. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. Um, since I'm really undecided about if I should sell right now or if I should buy or if I should just kind of hold on to what I have right now. So. That's it. Let me know. And also, maybe have a nas another National Treasure break since they are at the lowest. I can't imagine it going any lower with uh, DeMarcus Cousin 101 still out there and then John Wall 101 still out there. So, uh, maybe I'll have a case of that in maybe next weekend. Probably not this weekend. I'll have to be studying. But, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.